Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to change the favicon for the icons in your web browser. So these are the icons up here in your tabs. So if you want to change the icons for these websites, you could use this extension to do so. So this is a free extension for Chrome and Edge, so it'll work in both. It's a bit older. You could tell by the picture here that it's an older extension. All right, so the catch is that in order to change these, it can only work with your favorites. It can't work with something that you're currently on. So these three websites here are in my favorites. So now that I have it installed, I have it up here in my extensions. And then you could come here and remove it, go to the options, and so on. And then I also have it in Chrome here. And then you could pin it if you like. Okay, so let's try this dog breed website here. So like you said, it has to be in your favorites. So then you could come here to the extension, click on it. So you could change the favicon right from here. So I'm going to change this to a dog. So now you can see it changed up here. And what you could also do, if you want to change it for just the home page, or any page under dog breeds. A little asterisk here means this website here, dog breeds and anything under that or anything under the main website as well, you could do that. So firstly, what happens if we go to a different page here? So you can see here it didn't keep the icon. So let's go back here, back to the extension. And let's do it for the whole site here. We have to select the icon again. So then we just add the rule. Okay, so now when we go here, you can see this one didn't work because the website is different here. So we have to try a different tab. All right, let's just try something on the page here. Let's go maybe letter C. Now you can see it kept the icon because it's under this main akc.org domain. So that's something you have to look out for too. All right, let's try it for Gmail while we're here. Oh, by the way, you could also export the favicon. So if we click on that, you can see it there, save as or open. So there's the icon. It's a small icon, so it's not going to look too uh, clear there. All right, let's go back here. Now, what you could see too is this page is not bookmarked, so therefore we can't change it. So let me bookmark this page here real quick. All right, now let's go back. All right, let's change it. Let's do email. And now you can see we have a new icon there. All right, so let's try it in Chrome here real quick. So this is bookmarked in Chrome. Let's change the icon or the favicon. So now you can see we have it changed here. But then of course, if you want to apply to the whole site, you're going to have to come back here and apply it to most likely the entire domain and then select the icon again. All right, so that's all there is to it. And then of course you could come back here, open the extension, and reset it. Now this one, we added it to the entire site, so let's delete that. And that's all there is to it. All right, so I will put a link in the description where you could download this bookmark favicon changer. Actually, you don't need to download it, you just install it. And then if you want to remove it, you can come back, remove it, or go to your extensions. Come here, remove from edge. And then remove from Chrome, just like that. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.